classes are fun. Hi, my name's Jess, and today I'm going to be talking about forces. First, we have to discuss what forces are and what they do. Force is basically just a push or a pull on an object. For example, when you push open a door, you have to apply force to the door. The two main categories of force are contact forces, which include applied force, tension force, normal force, air resistance force, frictional force and spring force, and action at a distance forces, which include gravitational force, electrical force and magnetic force. A contact force is generated when two things touch, whereas action at a distance forces are generated without anything necessarily touching at all. A force can either move objects, stop objects, or change direction of objects. Now that may all seem just a little bit boring to you, but I can assure you, you've probably already seen most of these forces many times before. And I can prove it to you. So, let's look at some of the fun ways we use forces when we play. We use applied force when we push along a toy car, or we pull a toy along on a string. We use tension force when we play tug of war. We use normal force when we pack our toys away on the shelf. The force generated between the toy and the shelf is called normal force. The wind flying underneath the wings of a paper aeroplane creates a special type of resistance called air resistance force. We use friction every time we walk or we run. It stops us from falling over. Many different types of toys use spring force, including jack-in-the-boxes, seesaws, trampolines, pogo sticks, toy guns, etc. What goes up must come down. We use gravitational force every time we go down a slippery dip. Did you know that any battery operated toy uses electrical force, just like this toy train? And what you might not have known is that the lines you create when you draw on a magnet doodle are made from tiny little magnets. This is magnetic force. And now that you can recognise all the different types of force, you are an unofficial fun force expert. So, fun force expert, let's have a go at designing our own fun ways to demonstrate force. We can make a toy boat with the bottom of an egg carton, a barbecue skewer and a piece of paper cut in half. Just poke the skewer down through the piece of paper and into the bottom of the egg carton. This will be the base of your boat. Now, let's see if we can make our boat sail. To get our ships to sail, we just have to place them into water and blow and blow and blow. The force of the wind from our breath on the back of the sail makes the boat move. This is called applied force. You can now break up into small groups and experiment with your new toy boats. What happens when you add weight to the boat? You blow wind from a different angle, and do you think a different design would make it go faster? Why? Discuss your findings with your class. So now hopefully you can see that forces really are fun. And one last thing, may the force be with you. Sorry, I just had to do that. Created using Powtoon.